But right now I'm doing a set of press on nails and I just wanted to just come on here and do a little live. Now I already started, I really should have started, you know, the live when I first started doing the nails, but I didn't even, I wasn't thinking y'all. So uh, I'm just going to be doing a simple set of white press on nails. Now everything that you see, except for these nails, I don't have the little nails on my website, but I do have the stands. I do have the little sticky tabs that I use to stick the nails on. Um, I have the coffin nails, which let me see. I just did this set right here, but hello everyone. So I just did this set. So I do have these nails on my website. And then I'll also be sure to link the boxes and the tape and everything down below so you guys can go check it out. Um, but like I said, right now I'm just doing um, this white set. It's going to be really simple. It's going to be more bling than anything. So let's just basically, you know, a little chat and a little bit of work. Hello, uh, who is this? Amanda. Hey, two twins, two girls as twins, Brianna, Nicole. Hey, y'all. But yeah, this set is going to be pretty simple. I just, y'all, like literally the whole time I've been out here in Miami, like all I literally do every day is work out in the morning and then I come back to the room, I start working and then I stop for lunch and then I start back working and then I stop for dinner and then I start back. So I was going to order uh, dinner, but I have some some salmon in there. So I think I'm just going to end up making that because I don't want to eat nothing bad today since I ate bad this weekend. So I think I'm just going to do that and green beans. I'm not even going to do any rice because I had rice earlier for lunch. So I think that's, you know, I just thought I'm thawing out my, my salmon right now. Actually, uh, who is that? Jay, I don't have a nail table with me. This is literally the I'm just using the table that they had here at the condo. Um, but I, I was thinking about buying a table, but I, I knew that since I was just going to be doing press-ons, I, you know, decided not to bring one because they had this one that I'm using and they have a desk that I could have used. Um, press-ons usually, depending on how, like, detailed the design is, they could take me anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half. So they're pretty time consuming, but all of the ones that I've been making while I've been here, I've been really just taking my time with them and making them like really, really detailed. Now, if you guys are interested, um, I will be launching or relaunching my press-ons. Um, on, they'll be on the website for Black Friday. And so if anyone's interested, you know, be sure to go check out the website. <laughs> Lizbeth, yes, it is. So... Um, if you guys haven't checked out my website, um, even though I'm currently in Miami, uh, my boyfriend convinced me to still open up the website and let him do the orders because before I left Little Rock or before I left the house, he was helping me do my orders. And so he know how to do everything. And so he's been doing my orders. And y'all, when I say like he's been on it, like like literally before he left the house earlier to go to work, he's like, I had a, another order come or he's like, we had another order come in. I'm going to go ahead and do it so I can drop it off on the way to work. And I'm like, it really can wait till tomorrow. And he's like, no. And I'm like, okay, they're going to love you. Look, they're going to love you because I would have waited till tomorrow. And he was like, no, I want them to get their stuff fast. Hold on, y'all. Okay, so the tip, these tips I actually don't have on my website. I will have them on my website next time that I restock. I'm going to have the square ones, the coffin ones, and um, the stiletto ones. But right now, I only have the coffin ones. Right now, okay, so whenever I launch these press-on nails, I'm only going to be doing like a lot. A lot of the nails that I did are just medium, which are like really popular. Um, and then after I launch these, I am going to start taking custom orders. So yeah, so like I said, I'm going to leave this one, these white, but I'm going to go in and add some bling and some pearls. Um, whenever I make my press on nails, I use just gel polish. I know there's people out there that do, um, 
acrylic on them but i've always just done gel polish and they last really well especially because the nails that i use like the press on nails that i use are very sturdy and so i don't have any problem with them breaking off or anything i don't know if you guys notice but i do wear um press ons every now and then and i've never had an issue with them breaking off or anything Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, so the website is currently open. He is coming out here uh, to Miami with me. So the website is going to be closing down on Wednesday right before he leaves. So be sure to go check it out, y'all. Like I said, everything that I'm using, so like my wax pencil, the the stands, uh, the little sticky tabs, which is what I use to hold the nails. I know a lot of people use the little blue tabs or the little blue sticky tape. But I use the sticky, the, the little sticky tabs. I'll show you guys. I use these, which would be the ones that you can use to apply the nails on your on your actual nails. I use these. I just put it on the on the stand, and then I stick the nail on, and they stay really well. Even whenever I'm buffing the nails, they stay on really good. See, like I mean, I, of course, if I pull it hard, it'll come off. But other than that, like they stay on really, really good. uh on the set of press on nails the longest was probably y'all the other day like i one of the sets that i did it literally took me like who it took me a minute y'all like literally like two hours but it was super detailed like i don't know like the bandana ones that i've been doing those take me a minute because they're so detailed Hey, Arian. Uh, no, I've never actually. Yes, I have, but she was probably like already I like thirteen. Could you try again? Yeah, my phone over here listening to me. My watch. Uh, no, I haven't had any problems with the nails shrinking. Um, now I had one person message me telling me that her nails were shrinking whenever she was applying like gel polish. Um, I usually only do like two coats of gel polish. I don't do a base coat. I just buff them, uh, dust them off, wipe them off, and then do the gel polish. Um, and I don't have any problem with that. Uh, let me see what kind of desk do you recommend and what technique do you use to size customer okay so as far as the nail table i actually have the valentino um nail table back home um i like it y'all but the top definitely scratch up really easily and i feel like for the amount of money that you know i pay like you know it should be very um heavy duty i guess i could say and so that's the only downfall about that one and that's really the only table that i have No, whenever I'm doing press-ons, like I said, these nails are super sturdy. So I literally just go in with the gel, uh, with the gel polish, and I have no issues at all. Right now, I'm just going in with the bling. I do have this bling available on my website as well. I'm using a combination of my ABS S6, SS12 it says i believe 16 and then the pros i also have the pros on my website if y'all are interested i didn't get that yeah my watch really listening to me today like girl be quiet uh okay so whenever um okay so like right now as i mentioned a little bit ago like right now i'm not doing custom orders i'm only doing like you know already pre-sized nails um so which would be like some of the most popular sizes and so after i do these i am going to start taking um like custom orders but whenever i do custom orders i have a video which i can tag it down below but i have a video where i show you how to size your nails and so i've sent that video to clients uh, or you know like customers that want press on nails and I just let them size their own nails Or I know there's people out there that send a little sizing kit Which you know like you can do that for more accurate measurements 
um but like i said i do have a video and i feel like it's pretty detailed and self-explanatory and so that's usually how i do it uh i will okay so somebody said how do i do my bandana nail so neatly tomorrow i actually will be posting a video like a more detailed video of me doing um some bandana nails they're gonna be blue bandana nails and like i said that's gonna be up in probably tomorrow morning i actually was gonna post it today but since i posted another video i've just decided to wait till today Yeah, so the sticky tape definitely works really good for me, uh, you know, to hold the press on nails. Because I've used different things before, y'all, and nothing was really working. But these, for sure, stay on really good. And then, plus, I, like, reuse them a lot. So, like, this, like, literally, since I've been in my, I've been in Miami three weeks, y'all. Like, today makes three weeks. And I've been, I think I've done maybe, like, close to 20 sets of press on nails since I've been here. And I've been using the same little sticky tabs on the press-ons, like on the actual stands, and they're still really sticky. As long as you just don't like touch them or anything, you know, they'll stay sticky. Uh, not on press-on nails, I don't use acrylic. Now, I have before, you know, depending on what design it is, you know, I will use acrylic, but for the most part, I use a um, sorry, gel polish. Like, while I've been here doing all of these nails, I haven't used any acrylic at all. Uh, Brianna, I get all of my. Oh my god. Sugar and honey, stop it, y'all. So all of the bling that I'm using is available on my website, which the website is getnail32.com. Um, like I said, it will be closing down on the 17th. Yeah, so Wednesday is going to be closing down. Um, so be sure to go check it out before then. But I have like all of this bling. I have the red one. I have the pearls. Um, I have these as well. I have the, um, what else? Like I have all type of bling on there, y'all. And it's the same, like literally the same that I'm using right now. Uh, this glue that I'm using to apply the bling with is called, uh, is the Soleil Nail Adhesive. I've been using it for a while and it works really good for me. And then also, y'all, uh, if y'all want to wait, I know, um, you know, I was talking about my website. Now, for Black Friday, I am going to be doing a Black Friday sale on my website. Everything will be 30% off. And then, like I said, I will be posting uh, the press-ons on there as well. Oh, y'all, that's pretty. How y'all I do need to do that. The super chat. I've been having people telling me about it, but I've yet to do it. I don't know how to do that, y'all. I guess I need to look into it. Uh I'm not sure. Uh it's K2. I'm not sure, girl. Like I've only ever used glue or the sticky tabs. Hold on, y'all. I'm not reading comments right now. I'm, like, concentrated on getting these to stick or to not move. Uh, 
and the oh yeah the white gel polish that i'm using because y'all look how flaw like this is just two coats of that white and it went on so flawless and that is the mccart um gel polish it comes in a dual pack now you can get it from their website this time i got it from um i got it from um amazon because i needed it like asap because i literally was earlier i was doing a set of um nails and i used my white and i literally had to like flip my bottle upside down to get like every single little drop of that white gel polish out hey uh lawanda girl you didn't miss anything i'm just over here doing some press on nails okay yeah is that cute should i leave it or add more which i think um alicia a little bit of both you know sometimes there's products that i want to try and so i just do a review on my own and then like mccart you know i do reviews for them um and then model ones and that's really it those those two are the only companies that i'm working with right now okay so y'all say that looks good leave it okay yeah i don't gotta tell me twice Okay, for this one, I kind of like the white on white with the white pearls. I feel like these are giving me like wedding vibes. Or is this too much for it to be some wet, somebody's wedding, wedding nails? Which I think, wedding nails, yes or no? definitely wedding yeah that's what i thought like it's definitely giving me wedding vibes for sure and y'all whenever i be doing these like bling designs like literally i'm just going and adding things as i go like it's like my mind be so blank that like my hand just is moving and I don't even know what exactly I'm doing. I'm just literally going in and picking up stuff. Okay. That's cute too. And I think, let's see, for this one. Uh, yes, I did. Did I do a video? Yeah, I do have a video on the nails that I have on right now, y'all. Um, it's on my, it's on, I just posted it like this week. It's a, it's called like Nails for Beginners or something like that. Oh, yeah. So I think a while back, y'all, I was asking, uh, I think it was on here. I was asking y'all, like, what was a good top coat? And because um, I really was looking for a new one. And so um, the other day, like, I went to the nail supply store out here in Miami and they bear like they didn't have a big selection of top coats and so i ended up getting this one and y'all when i say like i need to go back and get some more like does anybody use this one because when i say the nails be so shiny and i know there's a lot of non-white top coats that like they're supposed to be non-white but they still feel sticky even after you cure them so many times and so this one like literally y'all you cure it and then like it's not shiny it's not sticky and it's super super shiny and it makes the nails look a thousand times better Uh, okay, this, yeah, this acrylic that I have on my nails is the uh, JCBD Concepts Cover Pink. 
that's what people were saying that the no polish top coat was really good but like i said you know i got this while i was already here and so i didn't want to order anything because like i needed it like right then and there and so i just ended up getting this one but i really really like it y'all like i said i need to go back and get another one yeah i'm gonna really like this set it's kind of simple yet like really classy but still blingy yeah my dog's really just been showing they ass all day especially honey And y'all, I don't know about y'all, but I'm loving this white gel polish. Like, I know it's just the white gel polish, but y'all, it's so pretty. Like, it literally went on so flawless. Uh, just Jay. Okay, so honestly, girl, like I like I know even on the bottle it tells you to keep it. Oops. See, on the side, it says works best with activator, with activator. And then it says keep refrigerated. So to be honest, like I've been using her glue. Hold on. I just got it on my finger. I've been using her glue for a while now. And I can honestly tell you that I've never put it in the refrigerator. Like the only thing about it is like, you know, the top. Y'all keep dropping it. But the top, you see how like, you know, like it gets really um, a lot of glue gets stuck on it. And so that's really the only problem that I ever have with it. Now, like the only time that it really gets stringy is if you like say like the glue is still wet right now and I went in with a top coat, it will get stringy. Like whenever I go through with the top coat, it will kind of string. However, to avoid that, I use the hurry up spray. I do have this on my Amazon storefront. And so I just sprayed like literally after I'm done applying all of the bling, I spray the nails and it like literally instantly dries the glue. And so whenever I go in with the top coat, it's not going to be stringy anymore. If that makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and put that to the side. And then for this one, um, instead of doing the ring finger with the bling, I'm going to do the pinky. And then I am going to do it a little bit different. Hopefully what I got in mind is going to look good, y'all. Just bear with me. Yeah, so uh, this glue, like I said, I've been used like y'all, like when I say that's really the hardest thing for me was trying to find a good glue. But um, since I found hers, I'm, like I said, it's worked really good for me. I think I used to use the Big Mondini and that one was good as well. It was a little bit more liquidy. And so like, y'all, when I say like once that bottle was shut, like glue shut, like, oh yeah, it was no opening that bottle. And so I got so sick of having to like keep buying them. And so um, I think somebody here on YouTube told me about Soleil's glue. And so I started using hers. And I mean, the bling stay on really good. Like I have not had any issues at all. Like I think I've been using it for over a year, maybe if not longer. Yeah, my mom over here trying to FaceTime me. Hold on, y'all. Let me look. Let me let my mom know I can't talk right now. Okay. 
yeah that's so like with anything y'all like that's why like in my videos i always say like you know what may work for me may not work for you so that's why i always try to give y'all like different you know options on different products because of that same reason that you know if you might not like what i use or you might have had a bad experience, you know, like it could be anything. The beetle juice. Oh, I literally just ordered some beetle um, gel polishes today because I need to. I've, I don't know if you guys know, but I'll be going live on Amazon, um, you know, reviewing different products. And so I wanted to try out some of the beetle. Um, some of the beetle. Um, gel polishes and so tomorrow i think i might do a set of press on nails live on there and i might do a giveaway y'all i might give out uh give away the whole beetles um little set of gel polishes so i'll be sure to leave the link down below so you guys can go follow me on my amazon storefront so you can get notified whenever i do go live because i always do giveaways on there so um who is it d if you're interested, you know, I always do giveaways, so be sure to go check that out. Thank y'all. Yeah, I know when it comes to, like, recommending products, y'all, like, I literally know what it's like to you know like i was once a beginner like i was once trying to find a good glue i was once trying to find those good tips or you know like and people used to act so stingy with stuff like you know not wanting to tell you where they got their stuff from like y'all it's money out here for everybody like i don't want your your clients because that's what people used to you know especially like if we're not even from the same state like why are you pressed about telling me what glue you use <laughs> Like, literally, that's a problem that I had. So, um, I remember telling myself, like, oh, like, you know, when I get real good with nails, like, I'm not going to be stingy with my stuff. Like, you know, because I know what it's like to be at that beginner stage and trying to figure out what products to use. So, don't be that person, y'all. Don't be that person. There's money out here for all of us, literally. It's a lot more people wanting their nails done than there is people doing nails. Well, who knows? Because everybody doing nails nowadays. How does that stay for you, Nicole? Nicole said, I use the IBD gel, builder gel and top coat and place my rhinestones. How does that work for you? I think I've tried using a builder gel before as glue, um, but it didn't really work out for me. I, but I think it's because the glue didn't dry. I mean, the gel didn't dry all the way underneath. And then after that, I just never tried it again because I was scared. Y'all, what y'all think about this one? Okay. What y'all think about this now? Y'all love it. Adrian says she love it. I feel like I need to put another. I'm going to just do a smaller pearl right there. I don't want to do a big old one. Or should I? Let me see. We're just going to have to stack it a little bit. That should be good. Hi, uh, Abia, Abia. I hope, hopefully that's how you say it. Uh, Annie's, yes, I've done a lot of encapsulated nails. Honestly, I haven't been doing a lot of colored acrylic nails lately. And I miss it. I literally was just thinking about that not too long ago. Like, dang, my clients don't even want colored acrylic no more. Like, I've been doing, I feel like, more gel polish than anything. Or if not, a lot of my clients been doing, like, a nude acrylic. And then we do nail art or bling and something um you know over the nails but i miss using like my glitters and all that stuff so uh just jay the key to working with transfer foils is really just making sure that whenever you apply the transfer foil on there that it i'm talking about that you apply it on there like really really flat 
that way you know like it kind of doesn't have those creases um and then other than that like making sure that you don't over usually i only cure my glue for like 60 seconds but whenever you're using and i use the model is it the model ones i think it's either the model ones or my cart um i think it's my cart um glue and that works really good for me So I am doing this one a little bit different, um, so they're not gonna be identical. I was going, I honestly was going to, but I had already messed it up because this one wasn't supposed to be a pearl, but I think that's cute. That's cute still, ain't it? So we're just gonna lead it. Maybe for this one, I kind of want to do like to the side. Oh, that'd be so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna change this one up too. Y'all, what y'all gonna eat for dinner? Who gonna invite me over for dinner? Cause I'm so hungry. Like I said, I literally, y'all, I've been in Miami for three weeks and I literally only leave this room to go and go get some food. Or no, not even that, cause I've been getting everything delivered, but I literally leave to go either for a run in the morning or to walk the dogs or to um pick up my packages or like on the weekend my boyfriend literally was like because i went out and it was so many people out and i was like look this is not good for my anxiety like i'm ready to go home i, I kept saying like i just want to go home and work this was literally sunday i'm like i just want to go home and work he was like no enjoy yourself Somebody said chilaquiles. Oh, that sounds so good. Y'all, I miss. Okay, somebody at Catherine. Okay, girl, I see you trying to do good. She said uh, salmon and asparagus. Girl, I'm going to do salmon and uh, green beans. So we on the same boat. Can you make BTS nails? What's BTS? Tacos Dorados, but in LA. Oh, that sounds good too. Y'all, that's one thing. Whenever I travel, like I get, I, I crave a lot of Mexican food. Like that's really all I crave is Mexican food. But back home, I don't be craving Mexican food, you know, because my mom, you know, um, I still work for my mom's house. So a lot of the time I just eat whatever she cook. Well, I haven't anymore lately because, you know, I'm trying to be on a healthy I'm trying to have a live a healthy lifestyle since I've been working out. Pork chops, homemade mac and cheese, and broccoli. Ooh, Nicole, I'm going to come to your house, girl. Yeah, I'm so ready for Thanksgiving. Like, my boyfriend's mom is cooking. And when I say her food's so good, y'all, like, whew. Like, literally, before I even left back home, I was like, um, yeah, I'm ready to, for Thanksgiving. My boyfriend's like, girl, you ain't even left yet. And you're already thinking about what you're eating for Thanksgiving. I really was going to do shrimp, y'all, because I got some shrimp in there as well. I got some steak in there, too, but... Yeah, I didn't want to do steak today. I really was going to make a steak salad, but I ran out of lettuce. And y'all, like, literally, so I've been ordering food in... Um, because y'all like parking out here in Miami is crazy and then like, you know, traffic and everything. So I just been ordering in and y'all like literally every single meal has been like a good $50 and I'm about sick of that. Like I'm ready to go back home. You know how like everybody got that one thing that they will like spend a lot of money on. Like I know for me, like I'm big when it, well, really my shoes, like I'll spend good money on my shoes but like even my clothes like i don't care to spend a lot of money on clothes and i know my sister like she'll spend like when it comes to food like she don't care how much she spend but y'all food like i mean i like to eat good but damn like literally the other night i paid like 54 dollars like literally y'all like every meal has been like 50 some dollars and it's literally just food for me
Okay, last one. I guess this thumb, I'm gonna do it the same way I did the other thumb. Or I might switch it up. Instead of doing the pearl in the middle, I might do the big diamond in the middle and then the big pearls on the side. Ooh, gumbo, y'all. It's a, it's a lot of stuff that that you would think everybody done had to eat that I've never tried. Like, I've never tried gumbo. I've never, like, I literally just had a uh, banana pudding for the first time uh, last month. And it was so good. I know maybe last year was the first time that I ever had, uh, what was it? Um, dang, what is it? It's a pie, not sweet potato pie. Last year was the first time that I ever ate sweet potato pie. But see, my thing is, I'm the type of person where I like to stay, you know, like if I know for a fact that, what what am I trying to say? Yeah, I'm over here too concentrated. Oh yeah, like I like to stick to like the same thing because it's like I know that, that I'm not going to be disappointed. Because a lot of the time I feel like when I be trying new foods, y'all be so disappointed. Like, you know, it either don't be good or, or something. And so that's why like I always be like, look, let me just stick to what I know. That way I don't end up being mad and feel like I wasted my money. Okay. So like I said, y'all, the I don't have these actual like the stiletto tips on my website, um, but I do have the coffin ones and I will have the stiletto ones and the square ones here soon. Um, but I do have the stands. I have all of the bling. I have the pearls. I have the little nail polish plates. I have the nail files. I have my Get No 32 files on there. I have my wax pencil. So be sure to go check out the website as I mentioned. Um, earlier the website is going to be closing down on wednesday uh, my boyfriend is currently working on like doing all like actually sending out all of my orders and so y'all he's been working really hard and i'm so lucky to have him because <laughs> like i said I, I wasn't gonna open up the website back up until i got back um you know for thanksgiving and he's the one that was like no just open it because a lot of people were messaging me like hey when are you gonna open the website again and I'm just like, uh, when I get back. And he's like, no, like, just open it. Like, I got it. I'm like, shit, okay. Thank you, Alicia. Thank y'all so much. Yeah, so I'm just going in with the top coat. Like I said, y'all, this top coat I just got while I was out here in Miami. It's literally almost out, but it's so good, y'all. It's so shiny, and I'm so glad that I got it. it. I think this big bottle was $20, but it's definitely worth every single penny that I spent on it. Because, y'all, like, ugh, I had been looking for one. Like, the Madame Glam one was, was shiny, but I feel like I needed something shinier, y'all. <laughs> And this one definitely is it for me, y'all. I don't know why I'm taking them off the stands. I usually just do it like this. Yeah, so the spray that I used to um, to spray the nails with after I applied the bling on is the Hurry Up Spray. Since the glue is thick, you know, since the glue that I used to stick the bling on with it's a gel resin it's a thicker type of glue and so if i was to just leave it you know like it will air dry but it will take a little bit longer and with me using the hurry up spray like it literally instantly dries that glue and so i definitely recommend that you use that if you're using um the soleil nail adhesive My favorite nails to do, I mean, I you guys know I love acrylic. I've been enjoying doing these press-on nails, y'all. Like, I really have. Like, I've really been taking my time with them while I've been here. Like, this is literally all I've been doing. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, be sure to go follow me because that's where I've been posting a lot of my work that I've been doing here while in Miami. And it's just been straight press-ons. And I'll show y'all in a second because I'm so proud of all of my work, y'all. The ones, all of the press-on nails I've been doing since I've been here, like, 
they're all like i can't even pick a favorite one because they're all like so pretty and like i said those will be launching on black friday and then everything on the website will be 30 percent off thank you jay yeah make sure y'all be uh y'all follow me on instagram y'all nails by jenny so when okay so when it comes to lifting girl it could definitely be a number of things so you just really have to do like a process of elimination and really pay attention to you know your work as you're doing it so like next time when you do a set pay super close attention to the way you're prepping your nails the you know like your tips are you applying them too big or too small um what else like are you using a primer are you using the correct liquid to powder ratio um are you most importantly are you following the good the nails really good around the cuticle area after you've applied the acrylic because a lot of the time that's where uh, a lot of your lifting will come from it's from not following the nails really good so you know it's just gonna be like i said a process of elimination and trust me like we all go through that like i went through that stage of um not you know like having lifting and not knowing what was causing my lifting and so it was literally to the point where i wanted to give up you know because i feel like it was almost embarrassing like i don't want to be charging people for their nails and then their nails are falling off um you know in a few days hold on i'm i missed the stone on these and so like you know it's just gonna take like you definitely got to be patient when it comes to doing nails because like you're gonna have those moments like that that make you almost want to give up but like I said, pay attention to those things. The, like I said, the way you're prepping the nails, um, the size tips you're using, uh, what else? And sorry, yeah. um, the, you know, the way you're prepping your nails, the way you're filing, the size tips, the primer, your acrylic, like all of that can, you know, cause lifting. She said, when I try to uh, flush the cuticle, I seem to drill away the color acrylic I place. So whenever you do that, whenever you file around the cuticle area, um, I mean, whenever you're using colored acrylic, are you using um, a clear over the colored acrylic? Because that could be it. Maybe you're not applying the, um, the acrylic thick enough on there. Uh, Alicia the chin was not bad at all like it literally did not hurt much at all like at all yeah uh, nails by Jenny you may need to apply a little bit more or you may be falling too much around the cuticle area what, what drill bit do you use because I would recommend you use the extra fine one you might be using one that's too coarse hey um, I'm actually though when I say like I like literally all i've been doing here in miami is working um i was planning on doing like you know meeting some people but y'all like i set a goal for myself when it comes to like doing my press on nails i said that i was gonna do 60 sets of press on nails and so now i feel the pressure of like you know wanting to do those 60 press on nails and i'm not even like halfway there y'all and so like i literally been working day in and, and day out because i want to post as many um press on nails as i can on there and even my boyfriend he's like look like you know like it's quantity quality over quantity you know so like don't like we literally had this talk this morning because i woke up where last night my anxiety was really messing with me and he's like you know what's bothering you and i told him that like hold on y'all let me put y'all over here don't mind me because i look a mess like i said i've been like literally working all day oh y'all look a mess for real but um but yeah so like you know he was asking like you know what's bothering you like what's causing your anxiety and i'm just kind of like it's really just like you know when i think about it the only thing that's really just like bugging me is that um you know like oh, this light Ooh. Hold on, y'all. Maybe if I put that away. 
Okay. So, like, you know, he was asking me, like, what was bothering me and stuff. And I'm just like, it's really just the fact that I set that goal for myself. Like, I wanted to create 60 sets of press-on nails. And the fact that I'm not even, like, halfway there, like, it really stressed me out. And I really should have never, like, set a goal because I knew that this was going to happen. And so, like, I literally, like, y'all, like, he'd be having to tell me, like, okay, you need to lay down or you need to go eat something. And because, like, I just been working, like, nonstop. And so I haven't done anything like the only thing that I really have done is like I've taken the dogs to the beach because like, you know, Sugar and Honey, they're used to like being able to run in the backyard. And so like I really feel like my dogs feel trapped in here. And so like I have been like I took them to the beach twice. But other than that, I just been working, like working, working, working nonstop. Oh, yeah, my knee started hurting so bad. Yeah, so my goal was five sets a day, but like I said, the nails, and I'll show y'all, but the nails that I've been doing are super, like, detailed, and so they've been taking me a lot longer than I thought they would, um, so that's, you know, that's the thing, and really, I had set 10 sets a day, and I was like, Ugh. like, once I got here, like, let me see, hold on, y'all, give me one second, and like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen some of these on there i'm just going to show y'all these four sets so these are some of the ones that i've made i did these uh these well i started last night and then i finished them this morning y'all these are super pretty i think these are definitely going to be some of my favorite ones these were super pretty as well um these were super pretty i think my boyfriend said these are his favorite ones and then those are cute as well um let's see what we have here those are cute. They're a little bit more simple. Those, okay, so these are the ones that I'm doing a video on tomorrow. I'm doing a video on those tomorrow, and it's going to be a detailed, like, how to do press on nails, like, from the very beginning, from prepping your nails um, to, uh, you know, like, to everything, like, boxing them up and everything. Let me see. Hold on, y'all. I can't open it up. Oh, these y'all like, let me look, I got to take these to the light because these look how shiny that top coat is y'all like, I'm telling y'all that top coat is super good. But these definitely had to be some of my favorite ones as well. I love these. I love that brown. It's so pretty. Like it literally looks like a, a Hershey's bar. Look, I said I was only going to show y'all a few and I'm up here all excited. Uh, these are super cute as well. The red ones. Yeah, Jenny, girl, don't give up. Like I said, you know, this is something that we all go through is that lifting. Like, it literally makes you want to give up, but don't, girl. Like, you only get better with practice. Y'all cannot get these open. Okay, these were super cute as well. I did a green set and then this plum color, and y'all look at that. Oh, they look so good. I love this color, y'all. I couldn't wait to use this color. But yeah, so that's all I'm showing y'all. Like I said, these will be available on my website on Black Friday. So be sure to turn on your notifications. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you are not notified when I post. Because, of course, I will be posting a video about the website launching um, earlier in the day. Yeah, the gel polish that I used for all of the all of these, uh, or for the most part, was Madam Glam. This one is actually the color of the brown ones. Is actually the color Walnut by uh, D and D, and that's my all time favorite brown color because I've tried so many browns, like different brown gel polishes, but that one is like definitely like a a true chocolate brown. But um, other than that, I guess I probably no. Like I really need to eat dinner, y'all. Like. That's really what I need to do. Like, if my boyfriend called me, he should be off in a little bit. If he called me, he know I haven't ate yet. Like, he gonna be on my ass. <laughs> but, um, y'all, I cannot find the top to this thing. Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah, so that's what I was gonna do. So now, I guess, I mean, I'll show y'all what the nails ended up looking like. Which y'all already seen, but, you know, with the top coat and everything. They turned out so pretty. Actually, no, let me put them in the box so y'all can see them in the actual box. So, 
So these, uh, I ran out of the marble boxes, so I bought these pink ones, but they're the same size, and um, I get them from Amazon, so I'll be sure, like I said, I'll be sure to leave all of the links below. Uh, where's my tape? Y'all have stuff literally all over the place. Y'all, where is my tape? Um, oh, here we go. So to stick the nails on the, maybe I should switch the camera back over to this thing. Hold on. Give me one second. Okay, so like I said, these are the boxes that I use. They are from Amazon. And then the tape that I use is this one also from Amazon. And I'll be sure to leave all of the links down below to my Amazon storefront. And like I said, most likely tomorrow I am going to be going live on my... Um, on my amazon and so um i am going to be giving away the set of gel polishes that i'm going to be using so if you want to enter the giveaway be sure to go check out you know that i'll probably do it later in the day maybe around 6 p.m maybe um you know while people are off of work or whatever and so if y'all want to join like i said if y'all want to join the giveaway make sure that you um go on there Okay, so I just apply the tape on there like this, and then I take the little sticky, I mean the little red piece off. If I can with these nails. Bear with me, y'all. Okay, there you go. Just like that. I'm about to whoop both of y'all because y'all really just been showing out all day. I don't have to say to y'all name too many times today. Yeah, I cannot get this thing this thing off. And that is why I don't wear long nails anymore. Okay, hold on, so y'all yeah, can see. Okay, so now all I do is take the nail off the sticky tab, place it on the tape, make sure that they're aligned very well. Y'all, this white is beautiful. Yes, yeah, so, um, hold on, y'all, hold on, y'all, my boo calling me. Hello. Hey baby. Hey, I'm doing a live. Can I call you like in five minutes? <laughs> You're okay. I heard you bye. But yeah, so tomorrow I'm doing a live. Um I mean not a live, but I am doing a video with me doing a set of press on nails from scratch, like literally from scratch y'all and so uh i'm gonna post the the list of everything that i'm gonna be using on there but then i'll also leave it down below so you guys can go check it out ah! Was this not dry or is there something on my fingers? Hold on now. Okay, I guess it was just some sticky on my fingers. So if you're interested in these press on nails, uh, like I said, they will be, y'all guess those didn't dry all the way. I don't know. I'll, I'll check them after I'm off of here. Um, so, yeah. So, if you're interested in my press-on nails, as I mentioned earlier, um, all of my pre-made press-on nails will be available for purchase on my website on Black Friday. They're launching on Black Friday. 
And then after that launch, I am going to start taking custom orders. Um, so you tell me exactly what you want. But these, it's only going to be a select amount or a limited amount of sets because, like I said, you know, it's only so many that I can do. Um, so, like, I've been working really, really hard, y'all. But, yeah, so I just put my logo on the front and then that's it you know so uh whenever the customer gets their press on nails or whenever they buy them it will come with a little pack that comes with a buffer a little mini nail file an orange twist stick i also will include the little sheet with the little sticky tabs also a kds glue and then um a little card that tells you how to apply the nails on there on your nails and that's pretty much it so that was it for this live again y'all be sure to subscribe make sure you go check out my website it will be closing down on wednesday and then it'll open back up for black friday um and then i do have a promo code for right now which is bull strong and so yeah be sure to go check it out and hopefully you guys enjoyed this little live that i did hopefully i answered everyone's questions but yeah so this is what they look like i really like them y'all like they're definitely giving wedding vibes so if anybody's getting married and you want some wedding press on nails hit me up I use KDS glue to apply these nails. But yes, I'm about to go get some dinner, y'all, because I am starving. And like I said, once I call my boyfriend back and he know that I still ain't ate and then I'm over here still working. Oh, it's about to be World War II or three. No, I'm just playing. But he is going to be like, girl, you need to eat something. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys... Um, <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. And then, so my Black Friday sale will, uh, I guess I'm going to do it at midnight. So it will be like literally at midnight um, on Friday. And so, like I said, it's only going to be a limited amount. I'm trying to get as many nails done as I can uh, before that day. And so I'm working on it, y'all. Like I'm, I'm really working hard. I'm working real, real hard. And so, um, like I said, make sure you go check out my website. I will link everything down below. And then also um, subscribe. Make sure you hit the little subscribe button. And also make sure you go follow me on Instagram. So peace out and I'll talk to you later.